uh, no transfer makeup, a makeup that will last all day. Yeah, so this is exactly what you want to see and how I gain this look. Keep watching. <laughs> Now Ibera, thank you for dropping her again and if you're new here, you're really 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 welcome. I start off by cleansing my face. Then when I'm done, I go in with a toner. I use uh, Alison Rose Water as a toner. It only goes for 70 bob. So that's the first thing I do to my face after cleansing, applying a toner. Tap, 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 tap. Rub all over your face and give it time to dry. When it dries, you want to go in with a moisturizer. I use the Nivea Soft as a moisturizer. It goes for 350 bob, around 350 to 400. Then I want to rub that all over my face. I have a combination skin. Anyone can actually use it. Dry skin, combination skin, you all can use it. Give it time to dry and go in with your primer. I use the Kiss Beauty Primer. I bought this around 250 to 300. You'd get even one for 200 bob. Then you want to tap, tap, tap all over your face. This is something you don't want to skip because a primer gives a base to your foundation, something to hold your foundation to place. And you want your makeup to last all day long and to avoid transfer. So you need a primer. Today I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow and first of all I'm priming my eyes, my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Coltan. If you don't have an eye primer you want to use your concealer to create a base for that eyeshadow. Then I'm using the Glazy Eyeshadow Kit. You've seen me use it in other videos and I'm also going to use it today. I'm going to use a blush from it that's like orange in shade. I have a very very detailed eyebrow eyeshadow tutorial. You'd get it down there in my videos. So please check it out and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Yes, I want to do a cut crease, full eye cut crease and I'm going to like make it full to the whole of my crease area. I'm using the glassy eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use like a shade that looks more of a shimmer. It is so shiny. Yeah, it glitters. So I'm going to use that for my crease area. No, for my eyelid actually. Because I want them to kind of pop. So you tap, 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 tap because you don't want like to rub off everything and spread it all over but you want it to remain in place you want to blend everything in you don't want harsh lines so you're going to use the same brush you used on your base shade to rub the two shades together
I'm going to go in with black opal loose powder. I have combination skin, a really really oily T-zone area. The T-zone area is around my forehead, the bridge of my nose, on the sides of my nose and the chin. So I want to kinda apply tap 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 powder on those areas because i get real oily i sweat and i have pores so i don't want my makeup to like get so oily and i want it to last all day long i also don't want it to transfer the minute your makeup gets oily transfers very easily so i want to kind of apply this powder and prevent the the getting oily and the spreading over of makeup so yes i'm going to go very quick on my eyebrows i didn't start with them today so i'm just going to like pass through them very quick just how i do them every other day starting with my davis number 18 eye pencil go in with a primer add add slender strands to areas i think i should and then conceal them so if you're liking this video please please give it a thumbs up turn the bell on for notifications as i post on tuesdays and fridays and don't 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 forget to subscribe yeah be sure to subscribe for more content again information containing the products i'm using in this video is down there in the de description box Feel free to comment, tell me what products you think are cheap and of good quality, like products that would transfer and how to actually use those products to actually avoid the transfer and how to use them to, so that they can last all day long. If your primer takes some um, good amount of time without drying, then you want to kind of tap, 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 tap like uh, cotton wool so that it can dry a bit quickly so that you can go on with your makeup. For beginners, I usually advise you to tap as you go, blend as you go. Like if you apply a product, you don't want to leave it there because it will dry over there and it will be some great work for you to kind of blend it so blend as you go my eyes look really fantastic i'm just trying to blend the powder over and over even to my eyebrows because i want them to stay in place all day long very natural and last all day long now I want to go in with my foundation. I'm using the MAC foundation in the shade NW55. And I want to go in with a beauty blender, very damp. I make it damp using water or my setting spray. Then I want to tap, 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 tap. I prefer a blender, beauty blender than a brush because a beauty blender consumes extra products, the excesses on your face. I have a video on my foundation routine, very very detailed and a beginner friendly actually, so get it down there in my videos too. You want to put foundation around your hairline and even on your neck because you don't want to look like, oh, you have a mask now. Nah. Again remember we are avoiding transfer you want to go in with your loose powder i'm using the black opal loose powder i bought this at around 350 bob so i want to tap some fair amount of powder by tap 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 because you want to kind of blend everything in so you're tapping 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 all over the areas that you have applied foundation For those of you who actually highlight and contour your face, then you want to go in with powder after you're done contouring and highlighting. Again, I have a very, very detailed beginner friendly contouring and highlighting video. It's also down there in my videos. So get it there 
yeah i hope you're going to check it out i have a glassy fs contour palette a very very nice one so i'm going to take a powder that's a little bright from that shade and i'm going to highlight to kind of go on on the areas that i highlighted so as to set everything in because you don't want creasing and you don't want makeup transfer you don't want it to like not last all day long so you want to tap 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 and actually put everything into place I'm kind of thinking that you want to follow these steps and you want to kind of go step by step so that at finally your makeup won't be transferring and finally your makeup will look very professional and will last all day long because you don't want to go somewhere and you have a patch of a patch with makeup and a patch without makeup so in if you'd kind of take all these steps and kind of blend everything in then your makeup will be good to go and it will last all day long and again it won't transfer i guess you guys can see i'm tapping with a tissue paper and it actually isn't transferring a very white tissue paper remains very white not transfer i'm very very happy on these steps i'd recommend them to every one of you beginner or no beginner again you tell me what you do for your makeup not to transfer for me basically that's what i do for my makeup i really go in step with step blending everything in and yeah to my lips i'm using the black opal you can see it is transferring after applying it but i'm really sorry i recorded a video after i i added powder and actually it wasn't transferring you guys try this it won't transfer but i did 